Hi there guys, next up we have the speckled snapper, probably one of the most beautiful fish on our entire coast. Uh, Lutjanus rivulatus, uh, rivulatus referring to the beautiful blue lines. So it's quite a thick heavy bodied fish, uh, fairly high. They have a, a lightish yellowy color to the face and then almost a redness on the belly with these beautiful blue lines that run all the way on the face back. Uh, very strong jaw muscled fish. They, they are reef predators, so you're gonna find them basically ledges, coral reefs, that sort of area, mission rocks is pretty much the perfect habitat for them. Uh, extremely, extremely strong fish. They, they have been known to break tackle. Uh, many guys lose them and you actually tend to resort sometimes to using a full metal jacket to catch them. So they, they cut you off very often and uh, because of the habitat they live in and the power that they have, it's very difficult to actually get the fish out. Now, in terms of where you're gonna find them, they're very rare south of Durban. We do get them south of Durban, but not very common. Your main areas are gonna be sort of uh, tropical, more north or subtropical. There's Sodwana, Mapelan, Cape Vidal, that kind of area is gonna be your hotspots. They, they feed on fish, crustaceans, and mollusks. So, octopus, squid is gonna be in there as well. Crayfish are one of their favorite foods. Uh, and then in terms of targeting them, you're going to be using uh, generally mackerel heads, mass bunker heads, something like that, something with a bit of blood in it, a lot of scent. They, they do really enjoy a nice meaty bait. Uh, they mature at about 45 to 50 centimeters, so a proper gunova, gunova speckle. Um, and they, they spawn in summer off, off uh, that the northern area of our coast, but not a lot is known about the actual spawning itself. It's like, like a lot of our fish, it's, there's a little bit of mystery behind it. Uh, like a lot of reef fish, uh, they've got a very slow growth rate, so they, they're slow to mature, um, which obviously makes them very vulnerable to, to overfishing. So taking a lot of them out, they, they do live fairly residentially in, um, in the area, they'll be territorial over one spot. Um, and taking that fish out then, does open it up to other fish to move in, but it also takes out a very important fish in that the gene pool that they've got around there. Um, so it's a very beautiful fish. They are nice to eat, unfortunately, um, but I'd highly recommend you let them go and fight them another day. The fight is worth more than the food itself. The fish sort of max out at about 10 kilos, um, which if you get it out, all, all credit to you, that is a, a very impressive fish of a lifetime. Um, Tackle for that, you're looking at medium heavy, heavy tackle. That's more than you'd normally use in a reef uh, a scratching situation, but just to be able to get that fish out, you need the backbone of a very strong rod. Um, and obviously, circles, much better. They sit in the corner. Also, the nice thing about circles and scratching is because they're bent round, the tip doesn't face outwards. When you do reel in, because you are fishing over ledges and in rocks, you that tip doesn't dig into the rock and get stuck. It, it bounces off. So highly recommend using circles in any sort of reef fishing situation. And you can bait it up completely. You just need to leave a little bit of exposed to be able to get it to set in the corner. But only on soft baits. Hard baits you have to leave the whole circle open. Uh, this is definitely, being one of the most beautiful fish, definitely a fish to add to your, to your hit list if you want to call it that, and to your photo album. Uh, please remember, send us any pictures that you do catch. Uh, lovely to add up onto the wall. In terms of tackle, uh, this is what I would use, my personal preference, 13.6 uh, medium. Now, this is a four to six ounce rod, so you're gonna be able to throw a four, five ounce sinker very comfortably, even if you wanna push with a big bait. Um, that's gonna sit nicely in the target areas. So you, if it needs to wash around a little bit, you can get a sinker, it's gonna sit. I pair the little 5,000 BG. Might be small, but it packs a hell of a punch. Got a nice big handle, so if you are wading through the gutters and things like that, you don't slip off, it's got nice grip on that. I would put our 40 pound J braid. Now, with it breaking over its uh, suggested breaking strain, you are gonna be able to pull a fish as hard as you want and he's not gonna break off. And it's got a lot of abrasion resistance, so when you are fishing amongst the rocks, you're not gonna have to worry about that.